Alrighty guys, welcome back to Star Wars Review. Today I am uh, reviewing uh, the Mandalorian comic adaptation issue 2, which adapts uh, chapter 2, The Child, uh, the second episode of the uh, first season of Mandalorian, which that episode was written by John Favreau, but this comic was adapted by uh, writer Rodney Barnes, with art by George Chanty, with colorist uh, Michelle Rosenberg, and inker Carl Story, uh, and the issue was released on August 17th, 2022. So yeah. But uh, once again, it was a pretty straightforward adaptation of the second episode of The you know, Mandalorian. Uh, you know, one thing I found interesting was how I think like the first really half of the issue had like absolutely no dialogue uh, in the actual episode, and there really isn't a whole lot. But there's still a few small lines uh, from then and whatnot. Uh, but in this comic, there's just none. Um, and, well, I guess the first half there might be a few little noises the Jawas uh, make, but uh, we really don't get any dialogue until uh, Din goes back to Queel after, you know, the, the um, you know, his little chase with the Jawas and whatnot, uh, which, you know, even after that, there's still a good portion of the issue that doesn't have dialogue in the second half, you know, when Din is uh, fighting the Mudhorn, so, you know, it was uh, interesting there. I, obviously, once again, the actual episode, you know, the portions where there's very little dialogue, you know, no, or well, no dialogue in this comic. There is not a lot of dialogue, so it makes sense. Uh, so, you know, the, the issue was mainly about the art, uh, which, you know, like I said in my review for the first issue, you know, um, the, the art was solid, and with the comic adaptations, they are more about a comic uh, art, uh, because, you know, they're adapting a already existing uh, story, uh, which, you know, like I said, you know, I thought it was solid in the first issue. I thought it was solid again in this issue. Uh, there wasn't really anything that blew me away um, in this issue with just an art piece, I guess, in the issue. Uh, obviously, I, I liked how the issue was mainly art and, you know, did a good enough job with just mainly art uh, telling the story of uh, the second episode. But with this, uh, you know, series adapting each episode... Uh, in one issue, I do think it would have been interesting to have a different artist for each issue. Uh, definitely because the Mandalorian, obviously, um, definitely has a more episodic kind of feel to it. Obviously, it still has a bit like it's somewhere in between uh, serialized and episodic. Uh, so you know, um, it would have been interesting to uh, you know, get uh, different artists for each issue to kind of spice it up. Because it, you know, it, this will be eight issues long, uh, and if they do the second season and the third season and whatnot, it'll kind of be a lot. I would say I would assume the second season they might change up uh, the um, maybe the writer and artist one. I have no clue if you know. Obviously I have no clue if they'll end up doing the second season or not. But um, you know, it, it would have been interesting to do that. Um, uh, obviously the previous. Uh, comic adaptations they've done didn't do that, but obviously those are for uh, movies or a novel. So you know they're only with a movie. It's only like a two, two and a half hour, uh, you know, story they're adapting. Where with the Mandalorian, it's obviously eight episodes. I think it's around five hours, four, five hours. Uh, and you know, like I said, it has a more episodic feel. So each episode kind of is the same, but, you know, isn't, there, there's a lot of episodes of Mandalorian where are kind of like side quest episodes, so, uh, you know, it's obviously a very different, uh, story they're adapting than one of the movies, um, so I, I, I would, you know, enjoy that, but, um, you know, this issue, like I said, it, it's a solid adaptation, it, you know, the art's solid, it adapts the story of the second episode, so, you know, it, does what it says it does, um, but, you know, obviously a comic, it's, I think these ones are, you know, um, these, um, issues have been, you know, uh, a little longer than a normal comic issue, normally they're around, like, 20-some pages, where these have been, like, around 30-some, so, uh, you know, they are extended, but they kind of, do have to kind of go through everything, uh, quickly, the first episode, the first issue was definitely a lot more quicker. This one definitely was a little slower. 
uh, because it was obviously not, this second episode was definitely a more uh, slower episode, but um, yeah, you know, it does what it does, or it does what it say, says it does, and uh, so, you know, there's at least that, but you know, if you're wanting like more insight to the uh, second episode, it's, there really isn't anything, there isn't anything new uh, in this issue, so yeah, but uh, my grade, I'll give it a B, so yeah. Anyways, uh, that's going to be it for this one. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll end up doing reviews for the issues 3 through 8 of this uh, concatenation. I'm not sure yet. I'll wait and see. Uh, if I read the third issue and I have gotten the same thoughts from this issue, then I, you know, probably won't do a review. But, um, yeah. Anyways, uh, that's going to be it for this one. Uh, you can check out my uh, review of the first issue and all my reviews of the actual episodes of The Mandalorian and everything else to do by the stars. You and I'll catch you guys in the uh, next one.